It's time to celebrate the Murrow Awards that honor the very best in digital and broadcast journalism. Our colleagues and competitors have done incredible and amazing work on some of the most challenging stories in a generation. Well, we are celebrating a big accomplishment here at Creme 2 today. Our team just won a National Murrow Award for our original feature story about the Highland family tragedy. Whitney Ward and photojournalist Brett Alberry bring home the top honor, beating out every other entry in their category. Wow. Thank you, guys. Very cool stuff. Um, you know, I'm super grateful to have been a part of this story. It was just uh, a privilege to be able to meet with them and talk with them. If you don't remember, the Highland family, uh, they, they trusted us and brought us into their home mm -hmm. and shared just tremendous tragedy. They lost two children in a wildfire two years ago, suffered tremendous burns on their bodies. Here's a look back now at that story. I look up and like, I see a piece of ash and there's just like this orange hue. And like you can kind of hear the rumbling of the fire at that point. I ran back and I'm like, Jamie, you gotta like, we gotta go. So we hopped in the car with our son and, and zoomed at, as fast as we could. When it touched me, like when that, when that moment happened, I mean, it just, it's like, time stood still, the screaming, the world's on fire. When the fire first came, I'm looking at it, it's like right there. And it was like, I thought we were gonna make it to the river. I, I didn't think everything was gonna end like this. And then the flame was there and it was, you know, it hurt and everything, but it was like, oh, okay, I'm going to die now. We are all, me, my husband, our child, our other child inside. My little family is about to be in heaven. And then the flame passed away, and it's like, oh, we didn't die. It was just a, an incredible thing that they endured, oh and gosh. they, you know, they lost their ability to have their own children, so mm -hmm. now they are trying to have another family through surrogacy, so they are still trying to fundraise. If that's something that you're interested in, we do have all of that information on our website. Just go to prem.com. Yeah. Um, I think you touched on this before when we were talking about this story. It's nice that our station gave you guys time yeah. to really dig into the story and provide the time that it really needs, right? It to deserved, tell the story. Yeah, yeah, it deserved more time than just a couple of minutes. You know, everything in TV news moves quickly. Right. But, um, you know, I was just so proud to be able to tell that story in that way. And, it, you know, we, we poured our hearts and souls right. into that story. So just grateful for the win. You mentioned the GoFundMe. Uh, since, you know, this story aired, that GoFundMe has seen a lot more donations, yes. which is the positive side of this, right? That's yeah. why we wanted to tell that story and help them. They, sure. they deserve to have that success. Yeah. Right. So. Well, well done to you and Brett. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.